first thing I'm going to do, it's the only serious thing I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to say a prayer. God, please bless all these good people that came to Pinball Expo. Please don't strike me down with a bolt of lightning. We're just having fun. Thank you. Amen. All right, you guys. Have you ever sold a game that you know it wasn't quite right? You, know, you don't have to stick your hand up. You have to get up here, but I'm not done yet. Okay. All right, so have you ever bought a game and hidden it somewhere else away from your spouse? <laughs> Have you ever penny bounced pinball machines to cheat and get credits? Who would like to confess first? Come on up and take a seat in the confessional. Okay, friends, this is my old friend from Atari, Howie Delman. No, no, Howie Rubin. How can I make that mistake? You look the same. You look exactly like Howie Rubin. Can I just have one confession tonight? Now sit down. We're going to talk. <laughs> Nothing is quite that easy. I know you're Jewish, but we'll go ahead with this and say it. Bless me, Father, for the sins. For my sins. For my sins, yeah. okay. When was the last time you were in confession, Howie? Uh, Never. Prob probably last night to my wife. Okay. <laughs> so, what would you like to confess, Howie? I would like to confess to the fact that I was one of two people who sold the Atari pinball machines that never worked. There it is. But earned a, a heck of a lot of money. Yeah. We made a lot of money, but we didn't know how to build pinball machines, did we? No, we certainly did not. But we really did know how to tell the people um, the new kind of gameplay and what you could do with imagination. Yeah. Um, we tried. It was just incredible. And I would also like to confess to all the poor distributors who I used to have to go out to, to collect money for the pinball machines. <laughs> that didn't work. Well, all right, here's what I think you should do. Say, like, five Hail Marys. And uh, go out there and clean somebody's dirty game. No, I'm not going to. That's it. That's all you got to do. I'm not going to confess all right, to that I, because uh, I think it was it's just a, a confession, great or it's game. not a confession. Right. I I confess to my sins. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Steve, it was really great. Howie Rubin, we worked together at Atari from um, I'm thinking 1974 to 78, something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming up. Sure. Come on, people, you know you have something to confess. There we go. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I know. I've heard about them. <coughs> what have you heard? When was the last time you had confession? When was the last time I 35th saw you? 35th day of Kunigunda. Say it. 35th day of Kunigunda. Okay, that was too long ago. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, a new program at Stern. He's on my project, Mr. Tim Sexton. Hands right now. <laughs> He's an amazing young man, and uh, we're going to make the pinball business rock because we have to. That's right. So, what is your confession? Steve, Father Steve, I've invented a pinball technique that involves kicking the leg. Are you French? No. Okay, you're sure? Yes. Okay. So how does it work? Ball's hanging on the in-lane, out-lane post. Yeah. Just give it a little kick in the opposite direction. Saves it every time. But that is a form of pinball abuse. It is. Um, well, say three Hail Marys and mow Lyman's lawn. All right. We're good. Thank you. Thanks for coming up. <laughs> David Fix, would you mind coming up here, please? <clears throat> I feel 
setup coming up. Bless me. You need to spell that right. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's, it's totally correct. Totally. I can't read. I know. you. I play pinball. You're kind of blind. Well, I have to be. I, I love your games. Okay. Hey, that was, a, that was an underhanded comment, I think. Okay, so would you like to confess something? Yes. What is it? I buy a lot of machines, and I hide them from my wife. Oh. I have just about every Steve Ritchie game except two Atari ones. Wow. If you give me one of them, I won't tell her. That's you a pretty good deal. You can tell her. All right, I'll tell her. <coughs> David Fix helped me set this up today, and I'm grateful to him for doing that. Um, we had to go scrounge up a couple of pinball boxes that were supposed to be delivered here from Stern. And, uh, Isn't that your sin? You stole somebody else's boxes? Yeah, they're Deadpool boxes, I think. Oh, then that's okay. Okay. They are Deadpool. Okay, so, folks, this is the company that I work for right here. And... Uh, it's sort of like the, uh, I don't know, I'll just say that we make a lot of games. And it, as much as I like to make games, it's really important to make money, too. I'm in the business of making pinballs to sell them. I also enjoy playing them. Jim Pallidus walked in and thumbed his nose at me. I think he should be next. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for coming up, David. Thank you. And... Uh, the next guy up here is Jim Patla. Uh -huh. Jim Patla, a great designer from Valley Friends. He makes he made one of the coolest games. I loved it. I love Matahari. There's like two in the hall, I think, maybe three. Awesome game. Easy does it. I was sure you know this stuff. You're a Catholic. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -huh. Please bless me, Father. I have sinned. I know you have. It's all over the place. I Last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when's the last time you had confession? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you have to confess? <sighs> that uh, I miss pinball. You miss pinball. I miss pinball. I haven't, I, I haven't been involved in a very long time. How come? Why not? Oh, I don't know. You've been working other jobs, haven't you? It's been it's been easier to uh, uh, avoid the emotional conflicts than to address them. There aren't any emotional conflicts in pinball. There is if you don't play pinball. Yeah, if you don't play, I guess. I don't know. Is that your only sin? Yeah. No, you don't have to say Hail Marys or anything else. No, I just. Uh, but I will say. Play multi ball. Say it again. Play multi ball. Playing multi ball? Well, instead of I don't know Hail if you know Mary. this. I don't hear this that well. Instead of Hail Marys, I just have to play multi ball. Yeah, play pinball. That's a good idea. Okay. All right, man. Thanks for coming up. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Dwight Sullivan. I know you got confessions to make. Dwight, Dwight Sullivan is uh, a programmer I think we've made. 50,000 games together or so, um, a true game maker, a friend, um, someone to argue with. <laughs> All right. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long was it since your last confession? About 75 years. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dwight. Yes. What would you like to confess? I have something very heavy on my heart that's been weighing me down for a long, long time. I, my, my confession is my, my favorite pinball designer is Pat Lawler. Say 100 Hail Marys <laughs> and clean every game in, those, in, the, in the display area. It's a traitor in every group. It just is. Let's see now. Come on. I want one of you guys to get up here and confess. You need it. You'll feel so much better. None. No takers. Okay. Come on up. I think this is going to be a real actual pinball confession where something terrible happened. Maybe a murder. This, this one is for wait, real. Wait, wait, wait. Got to do this right. Hello, Father Steve. 
Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's the last time you had confession. <laughs> 35th day of I'm going ashamed. to go. That's it. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Longer. What would you like to confess? Wait, I must what's your name? What's your name? Mark Harper. Mark Harper. Yes, Father. My wife is eight months pregnant right now. Whoa. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. With our first child, a boy. Yeah. And uh, I told my wife, since there's at least three, four weeks, and that all my siblings were late, we had time to fill up the nursery with more pinball machines. <laughs> That's great. And we did. Well. <clears throat> and I feel very ashamed about that, Father. It's not so bad of a sin, so I would say say three Hail Marys and then sell them as soon as the baby's go, you know, born. you got to get you. rid of those pins. Thank you, Father. I have one more uh, okay. sin to all confess. Right. This one has really weighed heavily on me. I, I need some kind of absolution for this. I traded a very, very heavily, heavily customized Lord of the Rings for Ripley's, believe it or not. <coughs> I don't think and that I've was such a good I've game, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've kidding. tried to undo it for months and months, but no, there's no take. There's no way to cleanse my soul for that. Right, so say five Hail Marys and, uh, I don't know, walk a couple miles. Perfect. Thank you very much, Father right, Steve. Sure. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming up, Mark. I need a confessor. Duck. It's Phoebe. <laughs> Careful. Will you please use the stairs from now on? Thank you. I hate to see you get hurt. On the mic. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. I know. <laughs> no. How, how, when was your last confession? Never. Never? Me too. So I have a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, the one that's really weighing heavy on me, though, is this past summer I was at a turn uh, pinball tournament, and there was a very well-known pinball designer that was there, and I think I corrupted him. I was giving him shots of bourbon. I, I had the whole bottle. <laughs> you weren't giving me anything. This was at Trent and Augustine's place. <laughs> I tried to get him to give me a shot of bourbon and he wouldn't share. Say it again. See, I gotta be able to see what you say because I'm almost deaf. I know. I said, I was trying to get you to give me, to share a shot of bourbon and you wouldn't share. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a bunch of kinds of bourbon in there in that little freezer you had. Oh yeah. You're right. And so, I didn't give you any? Good. <laughs> <coughs> Is there anything else you'd like to share? Great. Thank you for coming up, Phoebe. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Her machines are gorgeous. <coughs> no other volunteers, really. Okay, we'll get to you next. J.O.? Neil. Just Neil. 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 Got it. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? Since the 18th. Oh, that's cool. So what would you like to confess? Uh, I'd like to confess I uh, built a big pinball arcade at home in my house with the notion of uh, an element of it being a gym for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Where there was absolutely no way in hell it was going to be a gym for my wife. In fact, right now... Iron Maiden sits where my wife Jim might have been. <laughs> so is this like in the basement? It's it's yeah it, no it's in the the kind of garden. It's like a log cabin. Okay, and where do you live, sir? I live in London. I thought so. You've come a long way to confess. <laughs> it was on my heart, Steve. I felt I had to get out of here. Okay, say ten Hail Marys and um, take an Uber home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the beard, there he is. Yeah, use the stairs. We saw what can happen when you don't.
Don't let your camera ruin my show. That's good. Thank you. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Yeah, please lose the camera for the moment. Nope. It'll, it'll be um, somebody will have recorded it. Okay. I have sinned by recording. All right. <laughs> that's a little distracting. Okay, so would you, what would you like to confess? I have to confess that on the weekends I work my regular full-time job. You work your what? Full-time job. Which is what? Uh, working in a hotel similar to this. Working in what? A hotel similar to this. All right, I'm going to start talking like you. If you don't become more clear right now, uh, you will feel my blade. I don't know what to say to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the weekends that I work my full-time job. What is your full-time job? I work at a hotel like this. Okay, that's cool. Um, I may or may not go home to my family immediately. I may leave work early to go play pinball. Nothing wrong with that. But I don't tell them. That's I tell okay. them I'm still at work. I don't hear a sin. I don't see anything. <laughs> Yeehaw! Say your name again. Uh, Dave. Let's hear it. Dave. Dave what? Dave's not here. Thanks for coming up. <laughs> ah, you got me. Thank you, Father. Pat McMahon, you need to come up here. Use the stairs. Did someone say something? Bless me, Satan, for I have sinned. I'm not Satan. It's been a long time since my last confession, but that was coerced. How long has it been? It was in the 80s. In the 80s? That was the last time? That was the last time I was accused. Hey. So, what would you like to confess? How do you like well, to lean in thing with the elbows? That's it's casual. casual. It's very casual. It's, it's also relaxing. It makes you feel more comfortable, doesn't it? It could be darker in here. Okay. A little mood lighting? Uh, mood lighting, we don't have any in here. There's no mood lighting. Well, Father... It's been a long time. I've been remiss in a lot of things. I haven't given the proper amount of attention to some of the people I used to work with. And I feel kind of bad about that. They're starting to feel good about themselves, and yeah. I've dropped the ball. So I'm here for some advice, some counseling, some guidance. Well, I would say get yourself a bottle of bourbon. I, mean, I don't like bourbon. Oh, you don't like bourbon? It's beer, I know. It's beer. How about, how, about, beer. How, how about we get a, a keg of beer? Might work. Do you still have tequila over on that side? Excuse me. Do you still have any tequila on your side of the confessional? No, there's no tequila over there. Okay, just checking. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming up. Unless you have more sins you'd like to confess. Um, no, there's nothing more I'd like to confess to. Um, okay. I appreciate the uh, the offer. Do you guys know who this is? And the absolution. Hmm? I said, do I get absolution? Yeah, okay, one Hail Mary. The sin okay. wasn't cool enough, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Satan. No, it's okay, it worked out. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. Pat McMahon, famous pinball artist. Famous pinball artist. So, who's the next confessor? I see a friend of mine in the back there. I have lots of friends, but I'd like to call up Eugene Jarvis. Use the stairs, please. Thank you very much. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last confession? Um, I think I was in high school. Yeah, okay. You're <laughs> not even a Catholic. I know uh, you. <laughs> <coughs> so, what is your confession? Um, you know, I, uh, 
I stole your balls, man, <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> you stole balls? I stole your balls. Oh. Uh, okay. They feel like they're stolen. Right. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. <coughs> um, so what are you up to over there? Committing any sins over there at Rothrells? Um, Have you been treating everybody nice? Uh, no. No? No. <laughs> Tell us about it. The problem is I hate people. You know, and it just, I mean, isn't it, I mean, it's like sometimes there's people that like people and there's people that hate people, you know, and it's like, I don't know. It's just the way I am. All right, well. Can I, say, have, can I have your horns? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have my horns. They're not available. Um, I would say, say five Hail Marys. Okay. And help mow Lyman's lawn. Okay. All right. He needs it. It's a big lawn. Okay. Um, how does a Hail Mary go? What is it? What's that? <laughs> See, I'm kind of tough. Is that a pass? Is that a is that a football pass? No, it's not that big, but it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Mary. No, okay. it's not a. That's okay. not. No, no, no. It's okay. See, it's kind of stolen from the Catholic religion. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Oops. Anyway, thanks for coming hey, up, thanks, Doctor. Man. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. Awesome. Okay. Also, see Greg. He has a. Let me see. I'm looking at every one of you. You. Use the stars. Smart man. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Have you? I have. When, when was your last confession? 1984. Okay. And I've held this inside ever since then. What would you like to confess? I bought a pinball machine. I pulled it out of their basement. And when I got it home and drilled the lock, there was a bag of weed in the oh pinball yeah? machine. All right. And, and, I, and, I, <laughs> and, and I didn't flush all right. of it down okay. the toilet. Yeah. So now I can never be a Supreme Court justice. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's too bad. Uh, who wants that job anyway? <laughs> Tell the people what your name is, would you? My name is Tom Taylor. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> do you have anything else you'd like to confess? Well, actually, I do. Which one? It's a pinball show. And there's a lot of men here. And we all tend it's to. It's a great do business to meet men. And we, we all tend to do something in big crowds called crop dusting. And <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> and you, now you have you got to say two hundred hail marys for that one. And and at Pinball Expo twenty six, mm. I did that. Did you? Yes, I did. You know, right now, you know what I think. This is what I think. No, I know it. I like rum. Nice. Thanks for having you come up. You bet. Forgot his name already. The guy. Now I would like to call up Greg Freres. He is a good Catholic boy. He never, he never sinned. Well, maybe once. Greg's an artist. We've worked together a lot. If you don't know who Greg Freres is, he did Star Trek The Next Generation. This is just the stuff with me. He's done a lot of games with a lot of people. And uh, I'm glad to call him my friend. And uh, come on over here, would you? Greg, can you sit down in here for a minute, please? Thank you. Did, did you didn't steal my sheet, did you? <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. When was your last confession? I can't remember. What would you like to confess, Greg? I got two uh, confessions, if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, you got time? You got plenty of time. All right. The first confession is... I'm sorry that I'm participating in this bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's going to go fine. Don't worry. I'm more sorry for them. <coughs> All right. Secondly, remember we did a game together. The first game we ever worked on together was Star Trek The Next Generation. I just talked about it. Correct. 
at that moment, you asked me, Greg, you're a Star Trek fan, correct? And my answer was, oh, hell yeah. I wasn't. It's at okay. all. It's okay. Not everyone is perfect. <laughs> and uh, it's, no, I, I wouldn't even call it a sin. There's no penance. Ooh, but, uh, I got off. <clears throat> you know what? I like rum. Yeah? I like rum. I like rum. Rum a lot. Wait, we need more... We need more people up yeah, here, don't get we? Get them up here. All you right. Know how to do it. <laughs> whoever, whoever was up here, why don't you come up and help us? It don't look like being a pirate. Well, almost. Rum. I want to join my pinball brothers here on stage. We're going to sing a little tune for you. Rum, 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 rum. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink and the devil had done for the rest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men of the whole ship's list. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. They, they damned and the rest gone with. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Rum, 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 no, rum, rum, rum. Okay, so these are my friends up here. This is Greg Frost. Rum, Eugene rum, Jarvis, you got a rum, mic? Rum, Let's hear it. Rum, 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 Fifteen men of them stiff and stark. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Thanks for helping. Rum, rum. Ten of the men had the murder mark. Well, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Fifteen men of them good and true. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Every man Jack could have sailed on the blue. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Rum, 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 rum. I know it's sick. I had to be a pirate at least once. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thanks for coming up. That's it? Thank you. Thank you, Father Steve. Okay, now on a serious side, I'm ready to take some questions. If you guys want to ask anything about our work in pinball, what's going on, if you have a question, let me know. Does anyone have a question? All right, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye. Thanks for coming. <laughs>